which is about a pink Cadillac and not a contract. This is the problem that is in the West. And we've seen all this uh, displacement going on. And somebody brought it up. And I thought this would actually be quite a good conversation to talk about. Because I said, well, I thought you would be married in England before. Because, that's, well, it's calling me a hypocrite because I've been married before. I haven't been married before. But the, the, my response was very simple. They'd have to be very religious for me to get down the aisle in the first place because I am not religious. So that level of commitment coming from me would actually be because I respected their beliefs and religion to the point that I would ha quite happily commit to the same level that they would be from a religious point of view. Because from a financial point of view, it's pointless. There is no benefit financially for me to commit to a marriage. I don't get a dowry. I don't get nothing out of it. I get the, all the risk side of the stick for my marriage. So that's why I never married in England. And you know, and I, I have never met anybody that was that religious in my lifetime beyond people I've met in the Philippines. My wife is religious. My wife. Um, believes in marriage for life. She believes in single partner. She believes in fundamentally traditional marriage. Now, I'll mention something which I shouldn't do, but I will do just to put things a little bit in perspective. My sister was getting married and I basically told her I wasn't going to the reception. I was busy with RBS Bank and it was over the weekend, which meant that I had a drive to um, Edinburgh at 1 p.m. 1 a.m. on Monday morning uh, from Worcester. It's about five to six hour drive, um, and there is no way I'm going to a wedding reception and sitting there sober um, with a lot of people I do not generally socialise with, and most of them I don't even know. Um, the only ones would be of no a family, and most of my family are distant anyway these days because we live in the south because we're not English, we're Scottish, um, so we don't really have any family gets together after my grandmother passed because everybody seems to have had their own separation. Um, so I said, well, I'm, I'm, I won't be coming to the reception. I'm just letting you know it save you the money because I think it was about two or three hundred pounds a head. So the next thing she is then go. Well, you can't be in the photos then. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. And the next thing is, she didn't want me going to the wedding. Now, what was the issue? Well, for me, getting wasted and going to a overpriced reception to show a waste of thousands of pounds um, with people I don't know or whatever um, has zero interest to me. The only important bit for me and it hasn't changed even with her having her tantrum, was the actual ceremony and the commitment of marriage. I'm not religious, but the thing is, if somebody chooses to make that level of commitment to each other, I respect that. But at the same time, I'm not gonna go to or jump through a load of hoops. Don't mind turning up, getting a gift, doing all that bit, being in the photos and experiencing the moment that is important as two people being entwined for hopefully um, the long term. But the reception is irrelevant to me. The re it's become a circus. It's become a let's spend as much money, as much of your money as possible and pump that way. Um, I was listening to a radio show the other day relating to single mothers, that people should get flowers for single mothers. And the point is, why? And that was what the argument was on the radio show because there's a woman on there talking about it and like the guy was saying what so you should encourage people to be have kids out of wedlock or this and it's like well no well who's going to get you these flowers and it's like well she's like well i think my ex-husband should because he left me blah 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 and it's like well is he going to get them no no the whole point is most of this stuff is simply to pump cash out of you it's it's in your pocket it's fishing fishing for your wallet or your purse it's not about the emotional side. It's not about the importance of things. It's simply looking for the money. It's why you'll see, I mean, there's a big joke on the Daily Mail. You'll see it in the comments 
how how much was their house? You know, whatever they. Because one of the things they will say is the price of a house, and my sister is also that materialistic. She will mention the price of her house in conversation. People haven't seen her house. There is no concept to what the house looks like or whatever. There's just a price tag that nobody even has to know about. And fundamentally, that's these are the types of things that would put me off going anywhere near getting married to anybody in the UK, because. The values and everything ain't there. They don't, the commitment isn't there. They're not religious. I'm not religious, but at the same time, I'm not asking somebody to marry me in that way. They are asking other people, yet they don't seem to understand the basics. Thanks for watching.